Evening everyone, so I finally got around to doing the drag racing with the Golf R and the GTI. So I'm just out with the R and I finished off the video basically now, so I thought I'd do the intro here because it's a bit more interesting than the garages around the back of my house. So I've done three runs, 0 to 60 with both cars, and then I've done two runs, quarter mile drag with both the cars as well, which is what I've just finished with the R. So with the 0 to 60s, I'll try and flash the results up as I go because that'll be easier for me to just do rather than edit it in. Um, so I'll flash them up in the corner somewhere and I'll do the same with the quarter mile runs as well. I'll flash them up in one of the corners so you can see exactly what the results were. So if you follow the channel or you're subscribed or you know about the cars, the Golf is pretty much standard. It's got the Racing Line air intake and it's got the Racing Line turbo elbow on it as well. But other than that, it's completely stock and standard. The GTI is a bit different. It's had more work done around the engine. That's had the silicon hoses done. It's had the turbo muffler. It's had the turbo elbow. It's had the pipe across air intake. It's had the Miltec exhaust done. Um, so there's a few other bits done to that. And it's been remapped as well. So that's a 315 horsepower. So the R obviously about 306 horsepower. The GTI about 315 horsepower. So we'll start with the GTI. That's where I started. So here are the runs of the GTI doing its 0 to 60s. Okay, so first run, reset, start, ready, set, go. Third run, so 4.95 was the last one. I could probably hold that out longer. I probably could hold that out longer. Okay, and here is the R doing its note to 60s. Right, the Golf R, race, traction control off. Right, second run, Golf R. Start. I don't think I had my foot right down there. Right, so third run with the golf. Start. Ready, set, go. Okay, now here is the GTI doing its quarter miles. And now they are doing its quarter miles.
So I've not actually looked at what the R did on its quarter runs there. So both cars are very similar. So the R's quarter mile drags are quicker by a second. Yeah, best GTI did was 12.95 and the Golf R did 11.95. But the GTI won on the 0 to 60s as you will have seen, but only by a tiny little bit. And remember, the R is DSG as well and the GTI was manual. So I reckon if the GTI had got a DSG gearbox at the moment with the 315, it probably would have gone even quicker as well because I'm the buffoon in the car trying to get the gears changed as quick as a DSG gearbox which is never going to happen is it so there we go the cars are fairly similar really now with the GTI at 315 there's not much between them I think I can do better in the GTI so I'm going to maybe do it again in the GTI I don't think I'll give the GTI its proper beans so I hope you like that remember to hit the subscribe if you're not already remember to hit the like button if you like the video there'll be more to come on the cars we'll carry on doing some drives with the cars I've got a couple of other things to do with the GTI but other than than that tada okay and here <laughs> and here <laughs> and here